As we prepare for Alberta's relaunch strategy, I am shifting how I present the daily case information to you. This is intended to help Albertans have the best understanding of the measures we are watching as we consider the timing of stage one of relaunch. One key measure is our hospitalization and intensive care admissions related to COVID-19. We are seeing a decline in these numbers in Alberta. Currently, 80 people are hospitalized, with 17 of those admitted to ICUs. It is encouraging to see these numbers coming down from last week, because it means fewer people are experiencing severe outcomes from this virus. It also means our healthcare system has the capacity to handle potential additional COVID-19 cases if needed. In total, there are now 4,020 people who have recovered from COVID-19, leaving 1,963 active cases in Alberta. In the last 24 hours, out of 3,232 new test results, there were 81 new cases. I'm sad to report one additional death has occurred. A woman in her 80s in a continuing care facility in the Calgary zone. This brings the total number of deaths in Alberta to 115. I struggle every day when reporting this number to not have it blend in as just another statistic. It may sound mundane at this point, as I have said it so many times, but every day I think of the friends and families of those individuals who have died and all those affected by the recent loss of a loved one from any cause. We are forced to grieve differently in this time of pandemic, physically distant from extended family and friends, and I offer my sympathy to all those who are navigating that difficult terrain right now. Spending time outside and enjoying outdoor activities is a great thing to do, both for mental and physical health. But we need to do so while being mindful of each other's health and safety, and while maintaining distances of two meters between ourselves and anyone from outside our household. I have received many questions and requests to clarify what activities are allowed under existing orders. Outdoor activities, such as the following, are permissible with restrictions. Golf courses and driving ranges were able to open on May 2nd with safety measures to ensure adequate physical distancing and increased sanitization and limited contact with high touch objects and surfaces. Earlier this week, Outdoor gun ranges were also allowed to open with similar precautions. Operators and Albertans can visit our webpage for more information, including specific directions and recommendations to responsibly participate in these activities. The Alberta relaunch strategy identified that on May 14th, online provincial campground reservation systems will open for bookings at select campgrounds, with camping in those locations starting June 1st. There will be restrictions in place to ensure safety. Private and municipal campgrounds will be able to operate in stage one of relaunch as early as May 14th, as long as they follow appropriate guidance. This is intended to ri limit risk for employees and campers. For campers wishing to enjoy the outdoors this May long weekend, please remember that physical distancing and restrictions on groups of 15 or more still apply. I have heard from many Albertans hoping to travel to summer homes, cabins, and cottages within Alberta. Responsible travel to these locations within the province is permissible with consideration to local community guidelines. Travel to summer homes outside the province is still not recommended. I encourage any person who is considering traveling within the province to respect the health and safety of small communities and plan their trip with minimal stops where possible. Pack your own food and stop only for gas if necessary. As always, take all the necessary precautions to protect your health and the health of those around you. Communities that include private recreational facilities like lakes, sports courts, or trails may also be wondering when they can safely resume operations for their members and visitors. Operators of these private facilities may choose to do so, but must follow the guidance available on our, work, our website. Guidance that is uh, general and labeled workplace guidance can also be used in these settings to make sure that enhanced cleaning and sanitization 
distancing measures, and other measures that are needed to prevent transmission are in place. Private pools and gyms must remain closed due to the high risk inherent in these activities. And in lake settings, I discourage the use of communal features like inflatables or trampolines that could increase the risk of transmission of these viruses. I know there will be bumps in the weeks to come for businesses, and I know many of these directions may feel confusing. Albertans have many questions about specific activities that they enjoy, and I will continue to offer as much guidance as I can as we work through relaunch together. I have seen comments from Albertans who are worried about going back to work and returning to some activities, and I want to remind everyone to be kind to each other. Albertans have pulled together to support one another through this pandemic, and that support remains as essential as ever. Public health officials are continuing to work on advice to determine what activities can safely resume and what additional measures will need to be in place. I ask Albertans to be patient while this work continues. More information and details will be shared in the days ahead through the Alberta Relaunch section of the alberta.ca website. Please be mindful of the risks associated with the activities you choose to pursue as we move towards relaunch and stay safe. 